Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that? <laughs> Yo, he's that old man in the hood who always got a fucking story to tell. <laughs> Boring as hell. <laughs> yeah, I used to drink 40s in jail. <laughs> I'm like an animal. I was actually born with a tail. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all, man. Once again, once again, rest in peace to Pat Stay. The legend, the legend, legends, legends, legends never die, man. First and foremost, you know, remembering his legacy, you know, for a lot of people, they're just finding out about what's going on. It's a lot of information out there, like, being said, there's no real definitive reasoning, but right now, TMZ has even reported and uh, Pat State does have a GoFundMe, man, and uh, I've donated to it. You know, I'm gonna make sure that the link is in the description or whatever the case may be as the pinned comment. Like, we gotta get him back right. Like, we gotta send him home the right way. You know, Pat State provided a lot of entertainment for us for years. Like, all the battles that he's had, you know, this is like some, some real bad news to try, kind of wake up to and to be brought into our day. So, you know, the update is now the GoFundMe is around. His family is, his, his brother has been speaking. And, you know, Pat State TMZ said earlier today, uh, at 11.44 a.m., a GoFundMe has been started for the family of Pat State. So far, it's collected upwards of 34,000 with a goal of 100,000. Pat State, known as one of the best battle rappers in the game, is dead after a stabbing incident in Nova Scotia, Canada. The stabbing happened early Sunday morning in downtown Halifax, according to police. And while the authorities haven't confirmed Pat as the victim, his brother Pete Stay confirmed his death to CBC. The police responded just after 12.30 a.m. and Pat was taken to the hospital, but he later died from his injuries. No one's been arrested in the stabbing. Pat was from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, hardly a hotbed hip hop, but still revered within the small communities during freestyle live battle events. And it basically says, you know, Pat had a huge media following. He had released, released a diss track to the game two days ago. The video includes brief quotes from Drake, Method Man, Joe Buddy, who all praised Pat's rapping style. Drake's take on it was Pat Stay is definitely one, if not the best. Speaking on uh, Pat Stay's legacy, you know what I mean? Um, you know, now TMZ is speaking on it. And for the people that, you know, watch this platform, I know you guys gravitate towards the information and you look for what you may, you know, and, and to hear and to see and to have to read an article about one of the own, like he was, Pat Stay was from Battle Rap. You felt Pat Stay, whether it was Grind Time, King of the Dot, Rare Breed Entertainment, URL, like he was everywhere, globally accepted in a sport where when Pat Stay first was doing it, it was really, really hard for white battle rappers to really get love like that. But Pat Stay towards like, what was now the end of his career, sadly was will be remembered as one of them ones, man. Like his last battle versus Real Sick, the pockets of flows that he was getting into. Like, come on, man. Like Real Sick is a monster and Pat Stay still showed levels of ability. And then he rapped about his mom, you know what I'm saying? Said, you know, she was on the stage four and this is the last stage. Who knew this would be our last stage we shared? Now it really is the last stage they sh like, like to, to hear that is, is definitely saddening, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely um, an upsetting thing. But his family is putting together now a GoFundMe, you know, to, to get together the necessary money that they need. And I'm, I hope somebody that watches this right along, you know, does what, does what they can do to help support him because he did so much for the community, even if it was just the battles or being competitive or his funny style or being able to make different skits and comedy like he was an actor or a rapper he, he could dress like everything that he had done like through his highs and his lows pat stay left it all out there on the line and he, he never it was never no secret about him you know what i'm saying like he just was he was who he was like 
funny, comical, but a deadly rapper could get under your skin. His battle with Tay Rock, getting under Rock's skin. Like those moments, like him versus Shotgun Suge, you know, him in that battle with K-Shine. Yeah, it wasn't our favorite battle, but guess what? We knew, like, Pat Stay is our guy. So he ain't give us this one, but little did people know what he was going through at the time. So a lot of us are looking at it like, man, we ain't getting that real Pat Stay, but his mom's is passing away at the time, but he still comes out and does what he does, but he's losing a family member. Then he comes back versus real sick delivers a that, that classic pat like that's what I'm talking about. This is who we remember. We delivered that. Delivered that. Not knowing that it would be the last time that we'd get to see him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's kind of crazy. I mean, but uh, I definitely wanted to update and let you know that, you know, his family has started to go fund me, you know, and these got these battle rappers are contracting, you know what I'm saying? They battle for battle for battle. When you don't battle frequently, you know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's just a job. Like you, like a lot of people look at the like the battle rappers, the people in the community, like they have all this paper, but it's like no, they working like everybody else is working. They got a family. Life don't stop. So I definitely support the fact that his family has made the right decision or made a good decision to at least get him, you know, taken care of the way they need to. And like I said, this is TMZ speaking, and you know his brother has spoke and pretty much confirmed it that uh where we at with it right now. But you know what I'm saying? Like he's got a lot of dope moments. I don't think his legacy could ever be forgotten. Like it, it's, it's probably the most high profile battle rapper to get lost, like to lose their lives. Like we've had other ones that have lost their lives in the past, but the past day is gonna hit different and it's gonna hit for a long time, man. It's gonna have a really long, lasting impression like to remember somebody that was so close and I know there's going to be people who like the game and the game's fans that's going to be in the comments saying you know this is what happens when you I get it I hear that man but at the end of the day man he was a competitive guy he looked at it as the same opportunity like you attack another rapper you defend yourself and you just trying to get that competition it's the same thing that M, that the game was trying to do to M He's trying to get M to respond to him. He's, it's, it's the same thing. It's the latter effect. But at the end of the day, it's just it's just a competitive art. That's what it was. He put the song out. The game heard it. The game blocked him. He felt like he got some kind of notoriety. He was on all the channels. We talked about it when, if, when the diss first happened. We talked about it here. So I don't look at it as uh, you know not being able to talk about the latter stages of it because when the game dissed him, I mean, when... when when Pat stayed this game, we was on it, you know what I'm saying? We reported it, we blogged on it, and we spoke on it, and we supported it. But I didn't think it was going to pick up much traction because the game is not really a battle rapper. But all in all, you know, just, just you know, prayers to everybody out there, man. I hope y'all doing good in y'all own personal lives, man. Shit is rough, man. Like, you just really never know. Like, you could literally be out and about, hanging out, chilling, some shit will pop off, you know what I mean? Like a lot of the time, most people I know, they just play the crib, like it's just be safer, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just not even safe outside. Like you could like, I hear, you know, the outside, I'm outside, I'm outside. It don't even really be safe nowadays. Like it really be dangerous in a lot of these neighborhoods, you know, and I don't know specifically what happened in this situation, but I'm telling you what I did read off of the TMZ article. And there's a lot of other articles that are basically saying the same thing that, uh, you know, we lost one and he meant a lot because he was a really good, really, really, really good talent, man. And if you knew him, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you, even if you knew him through battle rap as being a fan of him, you know what I mean when we used to say things like he was one of the most well-rounded battle rappers. Like he was the most well-rounded. He could freestyle, he had a little punch to him. He had the jokey joke. Like he could just neutralize anything that someone was doing dangerous weapon man that kid was dangerous and it's, it's sad that you know the real sad thing is that we're not gonna get to see him again you know what i'm saying like that's the saddest part of it but he was dangerous man they were talking about him potentially battling against goods i was like man <laughs> i don't know if that's who he want to see you know what i'm saying because right now you know pat be rolling man and you know i i'm 
definitely glad that we got to cover him. I know he knew what we was doing. He's seen our stuff before. You know, you do the little clips and clips, and he'll pay, take different clips on blogs and shit. So, you know, I, I, had a, I had a very good, I had a respect for him. A lot of respect, you know what I mean? And to see him, be able to see him in multiple battles on the URL after the King of the Dots battled Danny on RBE. He blessed everywhere he was at with his presence, you know what I'm saying? So just wanna leave that out there. But overall, this is the update. There is a GoFundMe now available. You know what I'm saying? The link is pinned, you know what I'm saying? You can find that. It is his family members verified, making sure that these things go right. I was just sending my love. Y'all know what it is. Gang. Pray for your families too, one.